let's talk about the Ming Min for a minute. So one of the functions of the Ming Min is it's taking energy from the lower centers and it's shooting up to the higher centers. So this is tied to the movement of Kundalini, but it's also tied uh, to moving energy from the lower centers, which would be associated with the lower nature, up to the higher centers, which is associated with more of the higher higher nature. So another way of saying that is it's raising the vibration of not just the energy or your energy body, but it's raising the vibration of the body itself. When your body goes into a crisis, when your body has a health-related issue, part of how your body heals this is through the activation of the Ming Men. The Ming Men will raise the vibration of that area so that the body can have an accelerated healing rate, right? So you could say that it helps to break up blockages in the body. Now, this is also tied to helping to establish order, both within you and outside of you. So even when you have those active situations that cause you to be a little bit stressed out, or, or not, right? Even when it's not in your body, it's something in the environment, the Ming Min will still overactivate, right? It will try to, the overactivation is trying to resolve the issue. Right? So the Ming Min is established to establishing order within us and also outside of us, right? Now, an even deeper component is it's tied to what you would call the inner sense, like your inner awareness, your inner sense, your ability to perceive things inwardly is tied to the Ming Men. Now, the byproduct of this is the Ming Men is also associated with how your two sides of your brain become balanced. How it establishes orders is through the balance of intuition and intellect, right? So what we're doing here is we're first putting our awareness on the Ming Men. So you can reflect on a situation because this is going to help accelerate healing here. It's going to help establish order. 